cannot believe my motherfucking eyes. Bitch, is my puss ass up laid up in a hospital talking about he got in the car wreck? Boy, fuck that talking about you broke your leg. Tell these niggas you really got hit up. Yeah, puss ass nigga. Bitch ass nigga, you capping. Then you got hit up. Everybody know you got hit up. When you puss ass went to the hospital, you tell the people don't record it. Don't put it out there, no. Because you, you want motherfuckers to think in the city you're untouchable. Nah, bitch, it's pressure. Nigga, somebody broke his leg in a car wreck. You goofy in the hoe. I bet your partner sent up that nigga like, bro, so he just gonna act like he ain't get shot? Cause we just go, he gonna act like, nigga ain't hit him, hit him up and, and be live. Stop playing. I don't know who did it, I'm just saying. Why you capping like your leg got broke in a car wreck? Puss ass back up down the foot. Yeah, nigga, I'm pressure. <laughs> Boy, get your bitch ass on. <laughs> you wasn't dancing a month ago. Your pussy ass over there in the sleeve. <laughs> Curled up like a hoe. Now your bitch ass done healed up. Now you back ready to dance and shit. What you call You ready, about? Blood, I never said you got shot last night or whatever you was in the hospital for. No, I said, why is you capping like that's why your legs and all this shit fucked up when your pussy ass got hit up three weeks ago, almost a month ago? On oh, your dead partners, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? And when what's your McCall got hit up on the stretcher bed and shit you was posting him, why he ain't post you? Telling you who, who he post Earl Spence when he got in the car wreck, he ain't post your pussy ass when you got in the car wreck, cause she ain't getting one. Lying ass nigga. Come on y'all, don't be stupid. Read between the lines. He was just laid up on the bed. Pray for me y'all, you got a car wreck by a diesel. Then when I exposed his pussy ass, nigga, look at my leg, I'm good, I ain't woo -woo. Shut your bitch ass, shut your dancing ass on, nigga. Bitch ass nigga, you thought you were going like that, bitch. You thought you ain't gonna get the dance no more. Man, look, what's McCallum? He ready for you, boss. Bitch, lying on hoe. Shake that ass, bitch. Puss ass, nigga. Did you, did you get in the car wreck? Or did that puss ass, nigga? All right, y'all. Welcome back to Russell Crow on TV, man. It's been a minute, but we're back. All right, man. So the video you just saw, man, that was with uh, your boy Mo3, Trap Boy, Freddy. And, I mean, it's more to it, but I ain't gonna really get into all of that. I mean, y'all can do the research, even the video. Um, y'all can look that video up, too. But it's unfortunate that another black man lost his life to prove what? Another, just another senseless beef. Just a couple days ago, it was King Von. You know what I mean? And that video is, you know, I, when I see that video, man, it gets to me every time. You feel me? But it is what it is. I mean, we don't know what these guys are out there doing. You know? But I remember, like, I started losing interest in the Chicago rap scene. I started losing interest in the rap scene, man, because too many little niggas was getting killed. You know what I mean? To get attention, to get unnecessary attention, you know, from people, you know, them kids in, in, in the suburbs who, who think it's cool to be in the hood and shit, you know? So, it kind of turned me off, man. So, I kind of stopped paying attention to it. You know? And, don't get me wrong, man. Even till now, Chicago got a lot of talented, you know, artists. But it's almost like, yo, what's the point of, like, what's the point of staying, you know, in tune with these dudes? You know, when, don't get me wrong, Tomorrow I ain't promising nobody knock on wood, you know, God forbid, you know. But what's the point of staying in tune when we know what they're out there doing? Like, they're making their living pretty much off of dissing each other and, you know, shooting at each other. So what's the point of staying in tune with that, you know? So I started, you know, losing interest when, you know, little JoJo got killed, you know. 
Then uh, what's his name went to prison. Um, uh, King Lil J as they call him. Um, you know, I started losing interest, man, because it was just too much going on in the young black community, man. You know, unnecessary killing. I understand it, it, it goes way back. And it might never stop. But I don't know. It just made me lose interest. You feel me? But I still kind of, you know, I was in and out. I was dipping in and out. I was paying attention to certain artists like, you know, like Duck, you know, and um, what's his name? Um, King Von caught my attention about, about a year ago, you know, crazy stories, you know, and uh, Dirk, of course, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, like I'll dip in and out, you know, check on these guys to, you know, see new music because those were like, you know, those those were and are, you know, good talents, you know, good talents. But all that unnecessary beefing and killing, man, just kind of turned me off from the whole scene. You feel me? And uh, I was happy to see these dudes relocate to ATL. But unfortunately, man, you know, old habits die hard, you know. I don't like to report on this kind of stuff, man. Like, I don't like to even see these kind of videos, man. Like, the videos, it's out there. You can see, you know, Mo3 laid out. And Mo3 is another, you know, he's a... He was a very talented artist, kind of like Duck. Like, he, he one of them dudes that can make any kind of music. Like, I feel like you give him any kind of beat, he'll do something to it. Like, no matter what kind of beat it is, you know what I'm saying? And I get the same vibe from Duck, you know, real talent, you know. But, um, yeah, the video, it's out there, man. Like, I don't want to share it. I don't want to, you know. But y'all can look it up and y'all can see it, man. Like, But it's crazy, you know what I mean? I feel like it's something in the air, you know, because there's too much killings going on. And it's like, you know, rappers. It's, 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 it's targeting rappers, you know what I'm saying? I know we just, I know we crossed over from the Pisces, you know, as far as Zodiac goes. We were in Pisces season, but we crossed over, you know what I mean? I forget, I forget which, uh, which sign we leave, we, we living in right now. But um, I don't know, man, like, y'all think it got something to do with all this crazy stuff, all this crazy stuff going on, man? Most people want to blame 2020, you know? Like, I get it. It's a lot of crazy stuff going in 2020. You know what I mean? But, why are we blaming this year? This year, they ain't playing this stuff, man. Most of the things we dealing with, it's man-made. You feel me? We're the ones who got to point fingers at. Stop blaming 2020 for your problems. A lot of things went wrong in 2020, yes. Yes. A lot. Don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? The ones that you can't control, I feel you. A lot of things went wrong that we can't control. But at the end of the day, man, it's not the year, man. It's us, we, the people, the individuals that live in this particular time. We're the ones responsible for all this crazy stuff going on. 2020 ain't walking around with a gun shooting people, man. 2020 ain't beefing with niggas on, 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 on YouTube or on IG or on Twitter or whatever it is, man. That ain't 2020, man. Those are individuals, people. You feel me? Man, let's stop blaming 2020 for our problems and try to figure out how we can get ourselves straight, man. We got to find a way to get ourselves straight, man. All we do is blame 2020. 2021, we're going to be blaming 2020, 2021. 2021, excuse me, man, my lips kind of dry, man, I was just blowing one, but you know what I mean, let's not forget 2019, y'all was still blaming 2019 for your problems, that's crazy, you know, I hate to see all this stuff go down, like I say, man, I hate to see kings killing kings, but I don't know what they out there doing. They out there beefing. 
I mean, this man taking pride in somebody else getting shot and the person telling him that, you know, keep it on the streets, this and that and the third, you know? I mean, it's all this stuff makes you kind of, it makes it almost, it makes it makes it feel, it makes it hard for you to feel sorry, you know, for these people, man. You know? Like I said, I tuned out. You know? I tuned out. And especially after they killed Duck, like, I really lost interest. And I ain't lose interest, like, oh, I don't mess with their music or whatever it is. Like I said, I check it. I checked in. Well, I lost interest in meaning I got I to gotta protect myself and my feelings, man, because I like your boys' music, and I want to see y'all go to the next level. But y'all ain't got the same faith that I got in y'all. So why I'm going to keep believing in y'all, man, so y'all can keep letting me down by taking each other out? That's what I mean by losing interest. You feel me? Man, what y'all think about this whole stuff, man? It's going on, all these people dying for what? To prove what? To who? About to prove how hard who is? Like, come on, man. Like, all that is BS, man. Let's talk about it in the comment section. Yeah.